All right, so now we're going to create uh, the, the bishop. Bishop's pretty simple, minus this little uh, inset that this kind of cuts into. Um, also, looking at this image, it's on a perspective. So we're going to have to kind of eyeball where we want that uh, cut to kind of go. But pretty simple, pretty, pretty simple stuff. And we're just going to create a cylinder. It's in here. Line everything up. Everything else. Let's go back out of X-ray mode. I'm gonna snap the vertices to everything else. Align everything. Go back to turn on the image again, and uh, I'm just gonna scale this all up. Now, the tricky thing is this top part, right? So we're gonna kind of break this down a little bit to little pieces, kind of into its own little form. I'm gonna do some multi-cut here. I noticed inside the, the comment section, uh, someone was saying that they were having issues with the multi-cut tool, which is uh, really unfortunate. Hopefully they get to kind of figure out what might be causing the issue. I'm just scaling kind of the same, same kind of stuff as uh, the previous videos, nothing too fancy here. Again, kind of figuring out where I need to add more edge loops to the mesh. Scaling everything. everything to kind of add some more edge loops uh, right here. Scaling everything down. Here and here, actually look here. Going that in, kind of going right with the shape, just to kind of make things a little bit smoother. I'm gonna add some here, here as well. Edge, so click on the edge, scale it. So that shape. Definitely have to add an edge loop here. Edges. Add a few more edge loops here. It looks like kind of smoothing everything out. I'll scale this in a bit. Add another edge loop here. Scale this out. Same thing with these ones. Has a nice, has like a little lip here. I just fill that up. There we go. So we kind of got the shape going on. We're going to delete the his history. And then now we need to kind of create uh, this shape up here. Um, how do we want to do this? So we can, what we can do is we can kind of bring this up. And kind of create this shape, scaling things up like that. With something like that, what we could do is also just kind of bring this up, uh, put in another edge loop here, scale this in, put another edge loop here. So, kill history, turn off x ray mode, kind of get to see how that looks. And that looks pretty good actually. Uh, if we want this to be a little bit smoother, we can add little verts here, just kind of smoothen that out. Tap it. Yeah, for the top, we can probably do the same thing as well. Just kind of give it a round shape. So there's the bishop. 
And now what we need to do, and this is going to be really cool because I get to kind of show you a brand new tool, is we can create a cube here. And um, going from the perspective view, let's go to x-ray mode. You can kind of see how thick how thick this is. And I'm actually going to put this, um, I'm going to rotate this probably the, an angle like that, so 30 degrees. And the cut is pretty, cut it like that maybe right I'm gonna select both of these we're gonna remove that what we can do we're gonna select the main the main piece right and then we're gonna shift select this oh, let's go let's go into object mode object mode select the main piece select the other one and then what we want to do is we want to use of course booleans Surfaces is it here? Mesh tools. Edit mesh. Boolean. Boolean mesh. Boolean. So then you want to go maybe difference. And what's gonna happen here? Is that did okay, so hold on. So what we want to do is we want to actually make this scale this out. So it cuts it perfectly right through. Then now we can use the mesh booleans. Differences and it'll cut it straight straight through and then now we just have to go in and clean it up Because right now it's making some really bad triangles, right? So we're gonna have to go in Kind of clean this up Clean this up as best as we can We want to try and make triangles and quads. So yeah, so the Boolean tool really powerful. Hold on, let me save this. Um, just a heads up though, uh, back in the old Maya, um, Booleans, because it's such a powerful tool, it used to crash Maya all the time. So uh, just an FYI. You're gonna try and use booleans. Just be aware of that. I've noticed when you're use, when you're doing it on a very complex object, uh, that can still be the case. So just be aware of that. Okay, so now you're gonna notice that there's still tons of, uh, still tons of. So shift will cut it 50%, right? Cut these all the way through. Try and do the same thing here. And I'm going to go control shift, cut it perpendicular. So shift here. Cut it like that. I'll do the same thing over here. Control shift. Now, to be honest, though, if I wanted to make this cleaner, I would probably just make this into triangles, right? So let's do that. I'm just going to make these into triangles. Just because, um, or else it's just wasted triangles. One, two, three, four. That's a, that's a, that's a quad there. That's perfect. Four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, everything else is now quads, which is perfect. I'm gonna delete. Delete the edge there because this is already perfect. All right, everything is quads. It's now just this the side area here. Not looking very good. Got one, two, three, four. Put this one over here. Cut this. That's a triangle, it's fine. That one's a, a really weird one. So definitely want to cut this up. 
so weird. And if I was smart here, I probably would have, should have turned on um, symmetry. So I don't have to redo this on the other side. So now I'm going to have to go do that. Now I might not have something that matches, right? Really unfortunate, but it's okay. Um, we'll keep cutting, making sure I'm get, getting rid of any. So this is five sided one, two, three, four, five, right? Just kind of getting rid of that. Five. That should be it. No, no one more here. Really weird. Well, yeah, so that should be good. Now we have everything where it should be one, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah, so there we go. So now we have this fish, this ship that looks pretty good. Uh, and then we'll move on to the queen, which looks like it's going to have its own kind of difficulties over here. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you.